Antiphon. Come, you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin to sacrifice with the Mass, let us first call to men our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us to our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In a very special way, let us pray for the intercession of our Blessed Mother, as today is Wednesday, a day for Our Lady of Mother Perpetual Help. O God, who gladden us year by year, with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that is celebrating these present festivities, we may merit to them to raise eternal joys. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer, and a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day, to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms, but Peter looked intently at him as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. 
Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Two of the disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walked along? They stopped. Looking downcast, one of them, named Cleophas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But they were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since he took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back, reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with, with us went to the tomb and found things as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther, but they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took the bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then he said to his father, Were not our hearts burning while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out and at once he turned to Jerusalem, where they had found gathered together the eleven, and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and as I prayed to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how it was made known to them in the breaking, in the breaking of the bread. Friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have a very beautiful gospel for today, speaking about the road to Emmaus. Two disciples of the Lord went from Jerusalem to a nearby village, Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, discussing their hearts, <coughs> their pains, their frustrations, <coughs> their disappointments of what transpired a few days ago. And as they journeyed towards Emmaus, unrecognizably the Lord came and journeyed with them. At the onset, they did not realize that it was the Lord, but later on, they realized it was the Lord on the breaking of the bread. 
When he's about to go on walking, and let yet they invited him to be with them in the place. This always speaks to us, brothers and sisters, as we journey in life, sharing our difficulties, our pains, our problems, our frustrations, our disappointments, only to realize that along our life journey, the Lord is always with us. The Lord will never abandon us. The Lord will never forsake us. The Lord will not leave us alone in our life. Second thing for us to reflect is very <clears throat> beautiful and insightful gospel. It's the aspect of the breaking of the bread. Many times in our lives we could hardly recognize as Mary did not recognize the Lord in the serious gospel, but yet in the breaking of the bread, everything then comes to its senses. The Lord comes to us in a very special, not just symbolic way, but in a very special and physical way in the Holy Eucharist. In the Holy Eucharist where we are getting all the strength, all the energy, all the power that indeed the Lord will never forsake and will never abandon us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us place our knees before God our Father, rejoicing because Christ triumphed over death and entered glory. In response, may Lord hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have dedicated their lives to God, that they may look for the things that are in heaven, and be Christ's witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those unjustly deprived of their freedom, that they may draw fresh hope of freedom from the mystery of the resurrection. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family of God gathered here in Easter joy, that we may be a witness to the risen Christ and reflect Him in our lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer a special prayer for those people who are asking for a prayer, especially for Mani Nabaro, who is celebrating his birthday today, for his intentions and for his family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, your beloved Son, has risen from the dead, as He promised us in peace and joy. Be present to our prayers to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Prayer, bread, and sacrifice acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body. And this we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our due salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But today, above all, to load you more gloriously, in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. And by rising, it restored our life. Therefore, overcome his Paschal joy, every land, every people is joyous in her praise, and every heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together in the kingdom of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fountable holiness. Make holy the fruit of gifts, we pray, by sin and spirit like the dewfall, so that they may be for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time of betrayed and endless passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which be given up. For In a similar when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for the chalice is my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, as we pour that from for many, for the forgiveness of sins, to this in remembrance of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we see the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of our salvation, giving thanks of its worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we begin to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your choice to the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Therefore, as your Pope, Peter and our Bishop, the clergy, the sisters, and for preparing their ministries. Remember also our brothers and sisters to fall asleep in the hope of rise again, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you to our ages, we merit to be cursed to eternal life, and may praise glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in you through the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, now and forever. Amen. Praying for the coming of God's kingdom with confidence, let us say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for me, be evil, grace and peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy. May us be from sin and save from our distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, with the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and grace you God, her peace, and you need in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, this is the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we invited to partake this banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon the disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer you the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire to receive Thee into my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee and unite myself entirely to thee. Never permit me to be separated from thee. Amen. We pray, o Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from all our old ways and transform us into new creation. And this we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended, we need to serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amen.